Hello friends, today we will discuss about jaundice. What is jaundice? It is yellowish discoloration of skin, sclera and mucous membranes. Cause of jaundice is due to increased bilirubin concentration that is hyperbilirubinemia. Normal bilirubin level is 0.2 to 0.8 mg per deciliter. Clinically jaundice is detectable when plasma bilirubin level exceeds 2 to 3 mg per deciliter. First site for clinical detection of jaundice is sclera because sclera has protein elastin which has extremely high affinity for bilirubin. Now mechanisms producing jaundice and accordingly three varieties of jaundice are there. One that is hemolytic jaundice also known as prehepatic jaundice. Here there is excessive breakdown or hemolysis of RBC. Second variety that is hepatic or hepatocellular jaundice and it is due to damage to liver cells either due to infection or toxins. Liver cannot conjugate bilirubin efficiently in hepatic jaundice. Third that is obstructive or post hepatic or cholestatic jaundice. Here obstruction to the bile duct is pathology. Now in case of hepatic jaundice commonly the cause is either infection or toxin that is viral hepatitis but along with that there is narrowing of biliary canaliculi that is very often and it results in features of obstruction also. Whereas in obstructive jaundice although the main cause is obstruction commonly in the gallstone other causes may be carcinoma of pancreas or surrounding any pathology that obstructs the bile duct. But along with that because of obstruction there is biliary stasis behind the site of obstruction and it causes damage to the hepatocytes and therefore hepatocellular elements of the obstructive jaundice is also present. Now starting with hemolytic or prehepatic jaundice what is the mechanism here as we have discussed there is excessive breakdown of red blood cells and therefore there is increased level of unconjugated bilirubin. Here liver conjugates more bilirubin than normal and excretes it. But increased amount of bilirubin is there because of hemolysis and therefore increased amount of mainly unconjugated bilirubin. As liver increases conjugation therefore there is increased amount of urobilinogen and stercobilinogen is also present. This is known as acoluric jaundice why because unconjugated bilirubin cannot be excreted in urine. So bilirubin is absent in urine. Type of serum bilirubin accumulated that is unconjugated and therefore Vandenberg test that is indirect positive. Urine bilirubin it is absent why because unconjugated bilirubin is water insoluble. Urine urobilinogen is increased why because liver excretes lot of conjugated bilirubin and therefore urobilinogen formation is also increased. Next test that is thymol turbidity test in which when serum is added with thymol barbiton it gives faint opalescent color when gamma globulin level is normal and it gives turbid color when gamma globulin level increases. This gamma globulin level increases in case of liver pathology. So here the color develops that is faint opalescent color in case of hemolytic jaundice. Next that is fecal stercobilinogen that is also increased because of more formation of urobilinogen and stercobilinogen. Fecal fat it is normal why because bile is present in the gut. If bile and bile salts are absent then fat cannot be absorbed and fat excretion in the feces increases. Next test that is blood test. Peripheral smear shows hemolytic type of picture like anemia, reticulocytosis and abnormal types of RBCs found. Albumin globulin ratio which is affected in liver pathology it is normal in hemolytic jaundice. Serum alkaline phosphatase is normal value 5 to 13 Ka units per deciliter. Liver functions are normal. 
Next variety is hepatocellular or hepatic jaundice. Here the pathology or mechanism is in hepatic jaundice all the three steps of bilirubin metabolism they are affected. Three steps they are uptake of bilirubin, conjugation of bilirubin and excretion of bilirubin. Here liver has inability to conjugate and transport the bilirubin into the bile for excretion. Here the cause is either liver damage because of infection or toxic substances. There is increased level of unconjugated and conjugated bilirubin both. Now type of bilirubin increased that is both unconjugated and conjugated. Second that is Van den Berg test. Both the bilirubins are increased so Van den Berg test is biphasic. Urine bilirubin is present as the conjugated bilirubin is water soluble. Urine urobilinogen decreases because liver cannot conjugate as well as cannot excrete this urobilinogen. Fecal stercobilinogen is also reduced. Fecal fat level increases about 40 to 50 percent. Why? Because liver has inability to excrete bile and this bile is deficient and therefore fat cannot be absorbed. Next is thymol turbidity test. As we have discussed when serum is added with thymol barbitone, it gives faint opalescent color when gamma globulin level is normal and turbid color when gamma globulin level increases. Here thymol turbidity test gives turbid appearance. Blood test, peripheral smear, normal RBCs are present as hemolytic component is absent. Albumin globulin ratio decreases because of liver damage. Serum alkaline phosphatase level is increased because of less excretion of it in the bile and liver functions are third variety is obstructive or post hepatic jaundice here the mechanism is obstruction to the bile flow due to any cause from hepatocytes to duodenum and therefore no urobilinogen and stercobilinogen they are formed type of serum bilirubin accumulated that is conjugated bilirubin due to impaired flow Van den Berg test that is direct positive. Urine bilirubin that is present as conjugated bilirubin is filtered and excreted in the urine. Urine urobilinogen is decreased or absent. It is because of obstruction. The conjugated bilirubin is not released into the intestine and therefore no urobilinogen is formed. Thymol turbidity test. Serum with thymol barbiton. It gives faint opalescent color when gamma globulin level is normal and turbid color when gamma globulin level is increased. Here thymol turbidity test that is slightly turbid. Fecal stercobilinogen is absent as we have discussed there is obstruction and conjugated bilirubin is not released into the intestine and therefore no urobilinogen and stercobilinogen are formed. Fecal fat level as bile salts are reduced in the intestine, fecal fat excretion is increased. Blood test, peripheral smear shows normal RBC. Albumin globulin ratio is normal as liver functions are normal in case of obstruction pathology. Serum alkaline phosphatase is increased because it is not excreted in the bile and liver functions they are normal or impaired depending on the damage of hepatocytes. This table shows all the three varieties of jaundice with their characteristics. In hemolytic jaundice type of bilirubin increase that is unconjugated. In hepatic jaundice both conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin they are increased and in obstructive jaundice conjugated bilirubin is increased. Urine bilirubin is absent in hemolytic jaundice present in hepatic and obstructive jaundice. Urinary urobilinogen is increased in hemolytic jaundice whereas it is decreased in hepatic jaundice and absent in obstructive jaundice. Fecal stercobilinogen is increased in hemolytic jaundice whereas decreased in hepatic jaundice and absent in obstructive jaundice. Fecal fat level that is absent in hemolytic and hepatic jaundice and present in obstructive jaundice. 
Vandenberg test, hemolytic jaundice, indirect positive, hepatic jaundice, biphasic and in obstructive jaundice it is direct positive. Another variety of jaundice that is physiological jaundice of newborn. It is also known as neonatal jaundice. Here also the cause is hyperbilirubinemia in newborn baby that produces jaundice. It is seen normally in the newborn babies, more commonly in the premature and low birth weight babies. It is normally seen, therefore it is known as physiological jaundice. It appears within 2 to 5 days of birth and it usually disappears in 10 to 14 days. Now, mechanism. There is excessive destruction of RBCs in first few days after birth and therefore there is increase in the serum bilirubin level. Along with that, hepatic immaturity is also cause for the neonatal jaundice. Because of immaturity of liver cells, in first 7 to 10 days after birth, serum bilirubin level increases. As well as in fetus, bilirubin is removed from the circulation by placenta. But after birth, liver has to take up this function and liver requires 7 to 10 days to get mature and to function fully. And therefore, in this 7 to 10 days, bilirubin level is raised and that results in hyperbilirubinemia. Prevention For prevention of neonatal jaundice, hepatic microsomal enzyme inducer like phenobarbital that is administered to the pregnant mother or newborn babies and this microsomal enzyme inducers they increase the activity of glucuronyl transferase which is present in the liver. Treatment phototherapy is given in which exposure of the skin to the white light and this exposure results in photoisomerization of bilirubin to its water soluble component that is lumirubin and this lumirubin can be rapidly excreted in the bile without requiring any conjugation. So this is all about jaundice. Thank you.